Alrighty. Welcome to the Mac Beans Cash Fitness. We're going to walk around the property a little bit. Just kind of get my legs stretched out and see what sort of tracks I can find. So now I'm, some of them were of, like these here are old tracks that Binks heading out and about. We've seen them when we first got home. See them out and, out and around. That might be a rabbit over there. So you always kind of go to areas where you know animals are going to want to congregate. And shelter is one of them, and food is the other. Like, is that Banks? I don't know. Could be. I'm thinking not. The gate's too large. So I'm thinking it's a young deer. Or, I don't know, maybe a coyote. It's too old to kind of tell, but it almost looks like it might have been a young deer cruising by. It's like the perfect snow ball fight. Snow. So here is the habitat. Yeah, just kind of curious what sort of tracks will sleep by it. So you know something's got to be living under there because it's just too good of cover. And we got a little bit of light ice on the pond, not too thick. So we'll walk around the pond and see if I pick up any tracks that are not Binx's. <laughs> I know that's her, that's her usual trail. But other things would come out here for a good source of water, of course. Mud Creek's not that far either. So there's plenty of sources of water for animals here. But if there's going to be something new, this is where I'd find it. Nothing real fresh. Looks like mostly older tracks. Ah, here we go. Something comes through here. Because of the distance between the tracks, I'm thinking a deer. Not a very big one either. On the way home, the other night, seen like 10 deer or more. So I know plenty of them survived hunting season. There we go. So yeah, to me these are deer tracks just because of the distance between them. Now this one here, I think is coyote. That looks like a paw print to me. Yeah. This looks like a coyote track. These are not that old either. You could probably follow him. Right to his den. Funny if I busted them out. There's a bird track. Huh. That's neat. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a coyote cruising around. Ah, it's good exercise. I got boots on. And it's so pretty out here. So even if you don't see the wildlife. You can come out here and you can see the clues what's been out here. So I think a deer, coyote, coyote might have been stalking the deer. But then you take down a small deer. I've seen it happen. 
can also take down a large goose. <laughs> Seen that happen too. So yeah, you come in. Interesting, yeah. This is kind of newer track because it ain't covered up with the snow that fell last night. So this one probably cruised through this morning. Yep. Here we go. You can almost bet that they're bedding over there. So, I'm not going to bother shoveling the driveway. I think most of it will melt. And if you make a bank, and you make it where they can drift. The only one is sometimes I'll have to do is right up here up front because <clears throat> it can get pretty pretty high. But it's about 35 degrees, so it's slowly starting to melt. So nice and peaceful. Okay, live down a road that doesn't get a lot of traffic. Mail here. Let's see, let's see. This is junk. So, even on my rust day, I still like to get out and get some exercise. Here, real slow. I wonder if he's got a question about that property. Nothing like sitting there and putting them on there. Probably a neighbor, one of his buddies. <sighs> so yeah, even on a rust day, it doesn't hurt to go out and walk around and get the blood moving. I'm making bread today. So I got that proofing in the oven right now. Let's see here's where those tracks came in. Of course he was going the other direction. That's where he came from. Of course I'm I'm, I'm there we go. It came from that direction. Well, he went that way, then he went back that way. Looks like a coyote. We get a lot of them out here. Coyotes, raccoons, possums, deer. The skunks are all hibernating. They'll come out in the spring. Squirrels. Still running around, being a nuisance. But all your reptiles and amphibians have one underground. They won't be back out until the spring. And that's why I always like spring. There's so many things to rediscover you know getting the guard going plants coming back up to life it's just all good stuff I want to check my satellite and see if it was covered with snow or not it's supposed to be able to melt it it looks like it has Yeah, mostly. But I could tell it was it was slow last night. And those power outages don't help. <laughs> well, like I said, I had my solar backup, battery backups. So we kept the bedroom warm. And uh, had a knife, knife, enough light to walk around if needed. Worth the money having them. So, 
everybody. You know, even on cold, lazy days, go out for a walk. Have a good time. You know, it's what life is about. Nice fresh air, it is. So just that little 10 minute walk got my blood moving and gave me the energy to get the rest of the day going. Remember, rest, nutrition, proper exercise. Get outside and have fun.